It's gonna be tough. It's been two weeks since the last episode, so I'm sure you've all forgotten the incredible narrative that is Batwoman. What's to remember? Uh, but what you, how, how fucking dare you? <laughs> it's all come to this, Rags. Oh, it's the big epic conclusion of this terrible shit story. Got a couple things to point out before we get going. F first thing of interest, so if her whole thing was like real estate and she said that she wanted to provide homes to like, I don't know, the pitiful of Gotham in, in different ways and shapes and forms, why was the first thing she built a bar? Go to that gay bar. So, so that she could show that guy, huh? She could show him. Yeah, exactly. Alcoholic LGBTs out there who need a place to sleep. I just like how altruistic it is. Like, I'm gonna provide people shelter. It's like, lol, gay bar, lol, lol, lol. <laughs> like, okay. I wanna piss off the homophobe. Because we all know what happened when That's people protested Chick-fil-A. We all know what happened when everyone started to protest the, the, the Baker people. Well, every time this happens and someone's in the news for something like this, what happens? It gets a whole bunch of attention and everyone goes there and they make a lot of money. And you say in the back woman did this to make money wow see i don't know what her relationship with money is no that's true i don't know if she's rich or poor or where she even lives like right at the beginning how did she know he was gonna kill that guy in the restaurant shoot a man and how'd she find him how did any of that it's happen it's just not explained it's, it's just like to just, just her daily routine her. running around town she bumps into a guy who's trying to assassinate one of the three people who know how to operate a tism gun that can kill bat well she, like, she just all assumes right. that all italian restaurants are owned by the mafia so she assumes that there's some shady stuff going on there you know what, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. If you look at the actual scene, she like grabs the guy with her grapple after he's already fired the shot in the cut. I noticed it when I was editing. Oh. It's like, and you hear, and, and it's just like everyone in the restaurant goes, oh my god. And it's just like, so he had his shot, he fired it, and then he got fucked up. So uh, He just sucks. Yeah, he's just not yeah, very the, good. The force Amazing. of the bat, the bat grapple, uh -huh. it was so strong that it, in midair, re, re did the, the, the bullet travel thing. I'm but tired. We already know he sucks <laughs> because fucking that placement he had for when he was uh, going to assassinate him in the car park, that was hilarious. <laughs> 15 feet away in the middle of the year. Hold still, I'm trying to shoot you. <laughs> Upon just, just checking out the plot of that episode, because it was complicated, I have managed to figure it out. So, Gunman was hired by unknown person called, like, Sophia, I think is what he says, or Sophia. So that's going to be our new bad guy as soon as Alice is booted from this show, I guess. So Gunman was hired by her to get Tism Gun from Alice. Gunman is told to kill three guys in exchange for the gun and some poison by Alice. He kills two of them, and Mouse kills the other one, so he gets the gun. He is then hired to kill Batwoman by the mysterious person, but the gun has been detismed by Alice, and so Gunman is like, this is a betrayal to secret person, and Alice says she doesn't care because she loves Kate, and the three guys were the only ones who could have fixed the gun, apparently. That is the, that's what happened. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's just because it's very, very hard to follow and when you're watching it. It's like, what the fuck's going on? And it doesn't even attempt to explain how did Alice get this mega poison and how did they even steal the gun? I'm half expecting that poison's going to go into a teacup and then she'll have two teacups and it's like, Kate, you have to drink from one of these two to save your dad or some shit. They keep talking about that's the fucking not, tea party. It's not half what I'm expecting. Now that you've told me that, I'm confident that that's what they're going to do. <laughs> it's going to be in a teacup, I'm sure of it, that poison. But like, yeah, so I was gonna ask, like, isn't there more Tism guns in Wayne Enterprises so that wouldn't be the only gun in the world, nor would it be the only gun that could be repaired in the world that can kill Batwoman? Not to mention, like, blueprints? Just plans? About, this is a universe where Superman exists. You're telling me nobody's built, like, a gun that could kill him, and if it can kill Superman, it's probably gonna be able to kill Batman too. You can't pretend like there's only one. This is the DC universe. But we've seen that the Wayne Enterprises has Tism guns, and she's like, yep, only this crazy company yeah. from Evil Mum so, has it. Like, in this city, a alone there's probably dozens of batman killing guns yeah why didn't the gun guy just kill alice and take the gun uh -huh. did, did was, be mean. was alice just on good terms with the sophia person maybe before that i mean <laughs> yeah. enough to do a deal i guess i mean i think we pointed this out in the episode but um if it wasn't for anti-lesbian man that episode would have been completely different she would have told Sophie that she was Batwoman and there wouldn't have been the whole Batwoman gets captured thing It's just crazy that the addition of anti anti gay man like changed almost the entire plot of this season I guess I mean yeah, right. To me, it was it was obvious that that scene was meant to derail the plot. One of those scenes where it's like we can't have it resolved yet. We still got thirty minutes to go. And then <laughs> yeah. Well, then, sir, <laughs> then let's just not write them coming here. We wrote us into this position. It's like, no, I don't think that's how it works, sir. Yeah, we're beholden like, to our oh, own writing. Okay. Sorry, no, we can change the writing. Like, uh, uh, first draft. 
first drop is the early drop. You know how when they're in the, the house and she's like, Kate, how are you here? And then, boom, they're blasted by the Tism gun. I just wanted a screenshot. Like, look how close that shit comes. So. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So Not wait, to mention, so... she doesn't see the person shooting it, even though it would be a direct light. Remember, the room... She'd be right behind Kate. Yep, there would be because it's just a room. You'd see him. He'd be standing there with the gun. <laughs> but Sophie doesn't even recognize that or react to any of it. And fuck me, it was lucky that that didn't do anything to uh, Sophie. Batwoman, well, British Batwoman, got hit with enough force to break her through, like, what we could probably <laughs> yeah. call a foot of brick wall. And then she fell three stories and she just broke some ribs. It's like, uh... I think I guess she's fine, just an ice the, pack. The bat suit is mm -hmm. that good. All right. Out of curiosity, um, the one thing you're not supposed to do when you have broken ribs is wrap anything around them. Oh, really? Yeah, like, it doesn't actually... I was looking into it. Apparently, you don't need to go to the hospital. You can just lie down and let them heal, apparently. But wrapping oh. anything around them is a big no-no. Batwoman's writing team are doing their due diligence. <laughs> they can't research. even just Google it. <laughs> Someone pointed out a, co a top card. It's like, it's pretty lucky that when she showed up to a shooting rage drug that she wasn't discharged or disciplined immediately. Or, like, booted mm. out just for that alone. It's seen as a point of pride in this show. It's like, she did it while drug. It's like... <laughs> Whoa, that ain't good. <laughs> so you know when Mouse killed that other guy with the knife? They even have like kind of a shot to show the knife is sticking out of him. Later on, it's established that that knife was recovered from the scene by the police and they conclude that Alice is the one that killed that guy. And uh, Wait, what? Kate isn't shocked at all. We, we kind of were talking over that bit, but you know, this happens. <laughs> Kate concludes from this that it's Alice's attempt to kill her. Uh what? Uh -huh. There's more than one person has a butterfly knife in this world, surely. Like, and who knows? That just means, I guess, if you want to kill somebody, kill them with a butterfly knife, and everyone will assume it's Alice. Good job. Is Alice going to send another squad of her goons to get the knife back? <laughs> no, this one doesn't Alice matter. Alice comes enough. back to the base, and she's like, well, I killed someone with a knife. I threw it at him, and everyone's like, "Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> That's another death on Batwoman, by the way, which she's, like, doubly responsible for all deaths now, because she's let her go twice. Like five or six? <laughs> I was going to say, she's let her go twice significantly, but you could count a lot of other the other times too. They just let the assassination hit. He just sort of walked off and then died straight away because they were busy having a chat and catching up. <laughs> and then I guess the only other thing I wanted to mention, Sophie celebrates the shot that was pulled off on the motorbike. She's like, oh yeah, someone pulled yeah. off a 50 yard shot. That probably nearly really kind of killed your own team. <laughs> like, it's crazy that she's like, yeah, that was pretty cool. It's like, dude. <laughs> A 50 yard shot with a pistol on a bumpy road on a motorcycle at a moving target. And they're like, okay, we get it. She's perfect. It's like, how, how, how are your team? And she's like, oh, they're, well. That's it's just insane that Kate would even do that. It's like, oh, those are the crows, my teammates, basically. No, I'm, no, mm, but they've got yeah. British Batwoman. Yeah. <laughs> that about wraps up for the notes. I mean, of all the things we pointed out about Kane, by the way, uh, Jacob Kane, being that he'll return to the office and can find out what this imposter did and all this other stuff, I was thinking to myself, like, this is finale episode. And he's not back in the office yet, so I'm assuming he's gonna be like kidnapped or some shit. He needs to be kidnapped for this episode, I'd imagine, because it's all about him. So I don't think we're th those complaints are probably not gonna be valid, is what I'm trying to say. I find it um funny that the skin mask makes the dude taller or shorter and the different <laughs> body structure on whim pretty convenient it changed yeah it changes his entire physiology it's pretty cool uh predictions since this is technically the season half season finale because the next episode is all gonna be about yeah, sure. Tism um so. jacob does learn that the real Batwoman is Kate, and Kate has to save him without her mask on. Yeah, I could see them really revealing she's Batwoman to him. They could do that. I don't think Jacob's gonna die. I don't think so, but he'll be in mortal peril. Yes. I think they'll have him for uh, all of season one. That would be my guess. I've not actually looked at, like, any kind of contracts or stuff. I, I don't think, think the Mouse is gonna betray Alice. I think Mouse and Sophie's husband, are both, they're both a death door. I don't think Alice will die. She'll probably go to Arkham by the end of this episode. Um, so we can ever end the second season. Nice. Actually, yes. Seems to me, <laughs> judging from fan reactions, that Alice is the most popular thing about this show. <laughs> I mean, she's probably, Which is she's probably gonna get handed Well, I guess, I don't know. Low bar. Yeah. I was gonna say, Rags, if it, what is the best thing about this show? It's like, um... It's Jacob Kane <laughs> slamming his lap <laughs> down <laughs> and asking, what did you bring me? Unironically, like, he's probably my favorite. Probably the best It's a shame he's an incompetent buffoon when he should instead yeah. be, like, the mentor character of Kate, but whatever. Which leads us to the episode. Is everyone ready? Three. Well, oh. eh.
Yeah, I guess. Okay. I guess we're ready. Previously on Batman. If you didn't think that Beth would be traitor, I paid oh, traitor. God. Oh my God. Tea party. I'm so tired of her. And despite my own fear that I've lost my sister forever, I choose hope. I choose oh. hope. Wow, what a narration. Oh, it's so generic for a superhero. Oh. I got a stick. Give me your jacket. Did you just break it? Did you break your own bat stick? <laughs> Oh, that was an awkward shot they wanted to have. It's like a GoPro. Okay. Well, yeah, we, that was a great prologue for the half finale. <laughs> Give me your jacket. Check it for fingerprints. Exactly Vintage, that just means it's old. Think we can use the phone's GPS to track Alice? Is that what? You already, why just, just, Don't you always know where she is yeah. anyway? <laughs> There's a problem that only exists because I didn't take care of it earlier. I see you broke the staff in two. Sorry. So it doesn't actually come apart, she just broke it for no reason. Okay. It's a warehouse in the Bowery. And that's where she is. It's just like that. Hi, I'm here at your secret <laughs> lair for like the second, third time. <laughs> Why are you not in your bat suit? Does your gang get tired of <laughs> respawning? That is a multi-million dollar piece of technology that allows the coil accelerator to penetrate your suit. That's the only one that exists on the planet. What did he shoot? Break it. it can't be he the only one that exists on the planet. Bruce Industries yeah. have them. Turn yourself in, Alice. <laughs> this fucking like, appeal. She's Holy shit. She killed like six people. This is so nuts. From the day of our bat mitzvahs. Oh, jeez. Fuck off. Bat mitzvahs? <laughs> bat <Take> mitzvahs. <laughs> I am quite busy and not They there. were just hiding there. They were the whole hiding time. behind the boxes. <laughs> they were just waiting there, hunched over. I guess Gee. they all know that she's Batwoman too. Yeah, good job with that. Also, just yeah, if you now, had turned up in the bat suit, you could have actually captured her. Why'd you keep letting her go? She killed she's people. She's killed like six people. Oh, uh, fucking guarantees kidnapped. I went into the bar and asked the bartender, <laughs> what'd you bring me? Just <laughs> slabs over the saloon doors. What'd you bring? Oh, there you go. <laughs> These guys actually fighting people. I was gonna people. say that they oh, allowed wow. they allowed him to hurt them before he was captured. Thank you, show. I appreciate that. Would have liked it that he'd fired his gun at least once. Well, yeah, there we go. Setting up for the standard finale. How, you don't know how to run a bar. You don't know how to run a real estate firm. How are you gonna pay your You're cleaning glasses out of the box. Don't you have to hire people to do this grunt work? Who's your general manager? Do you need a license for all of this? Not after what Catherine did. Because you gave Alice a second chance. And a third, and a fourth. <laughs> she's she's got yeah, a point. what's up with that? <laughs> what, what is up with that? Because she's my family. And I'm not. Wow, that was awkward. Kind of a... I guess I am the crazy one. You, yes, you and Mary, I you are the crazy dangerous. one. We gotta crank You're the drama. Thinking. Sorry for thinking that you would do the same. <gasps> I have to run two businesses now that I don't know anything about. I'm busy. <laughs> also on Batwoman. Skin man. Are you getting back with her? <sighs> When you've been with someone for a decade and a half, you don't just walk away. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> she faked your daughter's death. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, uh, he's got an excuse for all this because he's skin man. He can do. He can say stupid shit. Because I don't think the real Jacob would have said that. No, I. It's it's hard. Who knows? Not. What the real also, he knows how to run the organization. I guess. She maybe killed him in the other episode. What? What's the plan now? I am so tired of this character. I stabbed you last time we met. I nearly shot you in the head, but I, I tried to kill you. <laughs> Explain why you never tested the skull fragments Catherine found. They were Daughter. tested. She paid someone off to she tell him. She paid off the technician. What, the, what would the difference be? You're being wholly unreasonable, Alice. Trying to sleep every night with a broken heart. Oh, he's trying so hard. <laughs> you can do it, Doug Scott. Oh, Scott. man. I should have had the DNA tested myself. Except I that I was told the DNA was I already What the tested. fuck difference would it make? You would get the guy to do it and he'd tell you the same thing. It makes no sense. If only I had assumed the DNA technician was paid off by my evil new wife to assume you were dead. If only I knew. Today is the day of my mad tea, tea party. party. Oh, okay. To which you've been invited. Well, hey, not bad. Mm. Not right. busy. I'm allergic to tea. <laughs> Catherine will be delighted. She's like, oh, it's poisoned anyway. And you're like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm allergic to that too. <laughs> here and someone ends up a goner. A goner? Oof. Also, did you see his face toward the end of that little sequence? He was like, I'm so fucking tired of this shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Can I like lay down or sit? Can you just kill me? <laughs> I don't want to be in the show anymore. My dad is the head of the crows. I mean, how is he even falling for She Catherine? hates Catherine more than Alice. <laughs> Alice was brainwashed against her own will. This is different. My dad is choosing he's brainwashed he against her will. Alice was brainwashed against Catherine. her will. What is the proof for this? It doesn't make sense. This is not him. This isn't him. <laughs> this isn't him. <laughs> okay. If you're calling with a lecture, I don't have time. The opposite, actually. I remember the wedding. 
big snowstorm, and I just kept wishing that maybe if we got snowed in, you wouldn't have to get married. If only a snowstorm were our biggest hurdle. Anyway, there was no snowstorm that day. She's, she's gonna reveal that to us. It's gonna be so clunky. <laughs> Why aren't you doing this to like everybody at all times? <laughs> you know what mouse can do. I was gonna say they're aware. Uh, whatever. What is up with you? Nothing's up with me. You're Got a case of the cold, white males. Mean, Got a case of the I'm so irrelevant I could be killed and no one would give a shit. <laughs> if this is going to be a thing, we should talk about it. Do you guys talk at home like ever? <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. What'd you bring me? <laughs> What'd you bring me? <laughs> As you know, this I like is one how of the he sounds evil. He's I'm got more of that guy. vocal fry. <laughs> I want the ceiling to oh. go off. <laughs> oh no! Hey, I don't know how he's gonna get works. them out of that room though. <laughs> yeah, how's he gonna get them out of the room? So, <laughs> don't worry, I just had a bit too much to drink. To Catherine, a most extraordinary woman. You don't taste like my husband. <laughs> <laughs> What's in okay, the drink? Calm down. Oh. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here you? again? If Beth is gone, then why does she keep this? Because despite the hate, the resentment, the rage. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so bad. stupid. <laughs> they're still, they're still good. E despite the murders, so the kidnappings, the torture, you're still good. How many times do we have to have this conversation? Kate, Kate where's your suit, you retard? 10-4, Commander. All good here. If you're not Jacob, you're... Not a crow. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> oh my god. The Hamilton Foundation has donated countless millions to fund work. Did you hear what he just said? Countless millions? That sounds like a number to me. <laughs> of the Gotham countless Humanitarian six. of the Year Award, <laughs> Catherine Hamilton King. <laughs> They were oh, just locked in there. Thank goodness nobody wants to knock on his door. <laughs> so many oh, it's like Indiana Jones. Why don't they just like shout for help? Oh, yeah. oh. Soundproof walls. No one can Soundproof. hear us. Oh, yeah, okay, off. but there's doors. Oh, fuck you. I thought Alice was more of a slit open our necks and poses for a tea party type murder. Yeah, remember those are the things that she did after Batwoman let her go? <laughs> if they can move, all they need to do is just bang on the glass. Go to the door. Yeah. She's trying to preserve some sick relationship with Kate, and killing me would. Killing you and me, Kate would never forgive her. Because Kate's still in love with you. Oh, it's not God. my fault. I have no idea. And what about you? Any idea how you feel? I, mean, I like her. Like, we're like friends, you know? Don't really understand, party. Rags. She is in love with Kate. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God, that looks so terrible. So they have, like, hackers and everything. So they have, like, hackers and everything. She is wanted throughout the entire city. How come she could walk around with total impunity? Audience, overpower her. One of the heroes. My company makes millions by putting weapons of war in the hands of Gotham's criminals. She puts My them in the hands of criminals? So she's selling to criminals directly? More by like Alice? <laughs> the true villains of Gotham don't go by the name Joker, Riddler, mm. or Alice. Bullshit, she's a murderer. Gotham's true enemies are right in front of you. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, she's dying. Oh. And nothing of value was lost. I'm so sure. Also, lucky they timed that that way, yeah. Stay in your seats. There's no cause for alarm. Please. Oh god, alarm. Control, okay, panic, panic, now, no. <laughs> so, where are the real crows right now? Yeah. <laughs> um, what? Whoa, what the fuck? That what? Was, whoa! <laughs> they sped that up like shit. Fucking music is back. <laughs> that guy didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, I bet they're really proud of this. Oh, we got one. It's one shot. shot. It's like Daredevil. I mean, I'll give it to him. This is way more effort than they ever usually do. Look, just... they're the crows. They're not helping their teammates. I guess those chairs are just fucking drilled to the ground, even though they, they moved that way. Why don't you just scoot Tyler. towards the door and then open it's it with your foot and then yell for help? Using. You're awfully calm about this. Yeah, they don't you're, seem to care. This means your, you, fa your father's you, in mortal danger. You guys apparently. need to get going. Get going right now. All my life, I followed the rules. My family's rules, the army's rules. Oh my time. god. No, you broke those rules. Yeah, I hope you've learned a lesson. That's why I lied. <laughs> Didn't answer my question. I know, I, I hate it how people do that, man. I'm with you. <laughs> Let's go get some help. Oh, right. Oh, thank think Yeah, that's very, good very idea. nonchalant. By the way, it turns out Jim Cade's captured. Down. She's infiltrated the crows. If you breach, we're all dead. <laughs> Where, God, where are the real crows? You do not look so well. You stay the hell away from us! You just have a knife the there? I guess, <laughs> I guess she had a knife there, yeah. You should have first looked 
to see whether it's marked poison or not. The poison. Yo, I got it. Thanks. Group effort. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's what it was. Oh my God. Catherine, do you it's want to tell her? It's a box cutter. If she dies, I'll kill you. With what? How? <laughs> box cutter. Harness the flower, and it gives you life. What do you want? A simple. Apology. All right, I'm sorry. Give me that. Uh, no. that. <laughs> Give me. Yeah, it's no, like no. I'm not exactly at my most lucid right now. My organs are liquefying. Hey, how much you want to bet that's not Ruby Rose? Oh, 100 <laughs> percent. Get me eyes on Alice and Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Get my eyes on Alice and Jacob. I think I enjoy watching a daughter lose her mother. Yes, this fits in perfectly with your character. From my own mother's severed head after our car plummeted off the bridge. I'm sorry, that wasn't me. <laughs> when I saw Kate grieving, I saw my own daughter. I just wanted to take away her pain. Oh my God. I feel God. like you wouldn't be able to talk if you were actually being killed by a uh, chemical weapon. I always assumed that her plan was to kill Catherine. Why did it take us so long? Oh dear. Not you two. Ah, they can only save one. Yeah. Just dr drink half the drink each. You'll be fine. There's only enough antidote for one. Oh, I no, guess that's just it. how it works. <laughs> what a horrible circumstance. I mean, that's really convenient that she only showed symptoms at that exact second. Yep. <laughs> if she hadn't shown symptoms for another five minutes, <laughs> Catherine would have drank it. Yep. Alice would have gone like, oh, wait, 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 before you drink that. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I, I didn't time this right. Let's just wait. Just, yeah, just see you for a sec. I swear. Ah, uh aha. -huh. Now Oh, we're here we go. If we split it, maybe we'll buy enough time. No, Alice would have accounted for that. No, <laughs> Alice would have accounted for that. She's clearly <laughs> fucking amazingly do. intelligent. Have you seen the show? Alice would cup. totally have accounted for that. <laughs> oh gosh, that was really awkward. Very, it's very strange how selfless you're acting right now in this scene. It's, it's actually really uh, it's strange of you. It's kind of weird how Alice wanted to show you this kind of misery because you. Yeah, I, this. There's lots to talk about. Yeah. You're too late. You're too late. Where's you killed another dad? person. Good job. Where's my dad? Where's my dad? <laughs> it's now going to be the Beth is dead moment. Enough. Whatever you did, you can undo it. But I don't want to undo it. <laughs> no, no. She can't undo it. I was locked in a cell. Oh, here we go again. Another years. one of these. We get Jesus it, you crazy bins. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. You're a mass murderer. I dreamt. Of revenge. Yeah, I know. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> Wise little Alice was not going to do that in a hurry. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Batwoman's like, can you speak English? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Catherine poisoned Catherine when she slithered into our family. Presenting the woman you've let go free several times, Batwoman. Yeah. Good job, you did it. Daughter. Everything Alice does is on your hands. To watch daddy go down with her. <laughs> oh God, that looks so awkward. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh jeez. okay. <laughs> Don't you get it, Batwoman? If you kill the Joker, he wins. <laughs> Fuck this show. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Oh wow, they're just laying oh, there. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Use your grapple, you fuck. Use your grapple hook. Okay. Hang on, mom. <laughs> She's <here>. dead, bitch. <laughs> I always wanted to see you work at your clinic. How did you know about you the clinic? Knew? I've always known. I told you! Oh, yeah, I predicted this! Knows. I fucking said that it was gonna be that either her or Jacob knew about it the whole time. That's the only way they could have gotten away with it. That actually, like, uh -huh. funnily enough, makes more sense. <laughs> but it's still dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Please give us one last, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's I'm dying, oh my god. Mom? Oh no, the horrible person died. Wow, I don't care about any of these people. Literally any of these people. It'd be funny if it has like went through because their organs are jelly at this point. I was like, <laughs> This program is brought to you by Pathways to Education Canada. Alright. Give me back my episode. God damn it. <laughs>
How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got no man. idea why this is happening. For a second there, I was thinking, like, is it gonna be like a part one, part two finale or something? But it can't be, because they got the Crisis on Infinite Stupids next. Fucking hell, I forgot what it's like watching TV where it's just infinite ads. <laughs> so bad. Oh, I know, right? I haven't watched TV in ages. This is kind of exciting. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no, this is- It's like, it's like a thousand oh, mini God. story. Yeah, oh. Oh no. Oh, this is Black Christmas. We messed with the wrong sisters. <laughs> Starting to wonder if it's just ads left. <laughs> is there any episode left? That's big stick. Man, he's just dropping his money everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> Does he die when he runs out of coins? Yes. And now we are going separately on our own paths. And I'm sad. And I'm sad. <laughs> Yay, we're back. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is where he was put after being trapped in that room. Oh, it's my old Ford van. What is this? It's a vehicle. It's a car. Pulls Kate first? Alright. Kate. Who is this? What? Why are you trying to verify who I am when I know damn well that there's a guy out there yeah, who's gonna person people's faces? Oh, they're framing him, I guess? Call you right back. It's gonna be double as policeman. <laughs> Going on, Commissioner. Yeah. Jesus, that's not necessary. They got planted something on him. Jacob Kane, you're under arrest. What the hell is happening? Get your hands off of me! No, he he know, he gets to know what he's being arrested for. That's like a thing. Nope. Pretty sure that you can get relief from prison if they don't tell you exactly yeah. what it is and your rights. So, um, Mary's gonna be able to tell them what happened? This is a very bad plan. Also, we're back here? You're not, like, chasing them down or something? <laughs> this is the hook for the next part of the season, Also, you changed out of I your guess. bat suit? Do you know how many horrible people that I've saved? Uh, that, that one's on you. Druggies, folks with face tattoos. Well, you, your mom was kind of horrible, though. I couldn't save her. Did, well, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm so sorry. You did all those things in you your hospital. Why isn't she in, like, hospital? Yeah. Well, you might want to get yourself checked out. Why aren't the police out? there? How did she leave? Are the police not surrounded the building? Where are the real crows? I have so many questions. Because she is not the horrible person that you and Alice claim that she is. Um, well, she did a very, very, very bad thing. I don't think anyone claimed that she would kill you to save herself. You are literally the last person who can bring me comfort right now. But I, I changed out of my bat suit and let Alice the criminals worth? go free to come and see you here. <laughs> I'm a good man. Just put me on with the commissioner. He's got the wrong guy. Because I've got a dart hole in my neck to prove it. He said How can they hole. think he actually did this? People believe what they're told. I should call me. But we have all this Do evidence. <laughs> what? Do you love me? Yes. Are you in love with me? No. That lip quiver, though. I don't know. Wow. Rip, no. dude. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so going through a lot of emotional trauma things. right now. My father's missing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I think you need to figure yourself out. Maybe I'll still be here. Maybe I won't. Guys, there are, you need to be doing things. Yeah, this thing's to do. I am broken. I am broken. <laughs> <laughs> we all make choices, Bruce. I oh chose God. Hope. You chose to let I'm Alice go free. like fucking four times. Like twice, three times in this episode. <laughs> And I chose to believe Beth was still alive. Yeah, oh, I chose oh, to save my sister. I lost my entire family. Yeah, I hate my medical Everybody's supplies. Everybody's doing the thing. Stop it. It's so dumb. Beth is gone. Oh my god, you could have figured this out from episode one. <laughs> really, was it after like all the murders where that happened? Wow, I haven't seen you in like two episodes. My lawyer could only get us five minutes. I hate her so much, Dad. Oh god, that was so awkward. When I get out of here, I'm gonna put her down once and for all. Fuck, <laughs> you're also full of shit. Come on, stop here. Right, what? well, that's nice. What typical absolute nonsense of a television program. Oh. Oh, right, he's a Flash person, isn't he? Submit and begin your life anew. <laughs> what? Uh... <gasps> he's becoming... something. What are those lights hooked up to? <laughs> that episode's gonna be crazy. <laughs> We're not gonna understand uh, a single thing that's going on. Oh, what's the what's the, what'll change? Oh, it's true. We're gonna be like on the third of five episodes, totally out of context for a big crossover. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna be the controversial one and say that episode's probably one of the best ones from the whole season. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like a solid three out of ten, maybe even two. It's what insane nonsense. I mean, the fight, that's the only fight that looked like they even tried to give a crap about. Which would make sense, because it's the last they would have yeah, initially filmed. it's still filmed. not, like, good. No, no. Uh, wow, so in that episode, two, two and a half times, let's say, that woman let Alice go. Yes. Uh, well, so, she, she uh, began with, I want to find Alice and capture her. She finds her and says, hey, you tried to kill me. And then she's like, no, 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 no. I actually saved you, and she's like, "Oh, okay, cool, bye." <laughs> also, yeah, uh, I guess the infiltration of the crows was like 
absurd how was there no normal crows who were like hey so didn't we have like a gig tonight what, what's going on yeah like oh but apparently yeah. the crows have been placed into this gala or whatever but all of us are here so that's weird <laughs> yeah i don't he was able to hire a bunch or bring in a bunch of new crows and all of the old crows didn't have any issues or problems with this. So did he completely hire and bring in an entire new crow security force and only have the new people go to the party while all the people who would work there were just not there? They, seem to be, they think they're at the yeah. office. They're all at the office. And all of them would have seen Sophie and her, and her husband go into the office, Jacob leave, and then for hours, nothing <laughs> happened. They were like kind of weird where's where's sophie and uh the husband where, where are they yeah it's <laughs> maybe we should check on them and so yeah that poison or potion or whatever it was it was from some distant island and it was meant to it just has healing powers and it just works for uh well yeah and i really love that line where she says we could have half each and she says uh think you would have a cow did for that you're like okay oh yeah definitely <laughs> that's possibly yeah, the so weakest throwaway to. line you could have where it's just like nah it doesn't work that way <laughs> I mean, okay what, what, what would have happened to the plan if like she was as bad as she thinks she is and she just drank it like she drank the antidote it's like well i guess that's the end of that i don't understand what alice wants to do with jacob it's like ah, i framed you it's like that's not gonna last long there's loads of yeah. proof <laughs> you're in gotham crazier things have happened you just have to prove the a guy who impersonated jacob here's an easy one if he used his credit card at that hotel he stayed at then that's the end of that well it talked to any like, witness that he went on that extra mission for and then talked to people in the office jacob was home so it's like so there's clearly two jacobs talk to kate it's very very obvious that there's two jacobs it, in fact how how would she even think this would hold up for a second there's clearly two completely different jacobs not to jacobs mention all the cameras different. all over the place mary mary can just vouch for the fact that yeah uh this was all alice alice did all of this she actually sat there and watched us past, nearly die they have all those passed out crow security guys who were just all happened to be hired by this one jacob like the yep. previous. no they all got up and left that's why alice still has a gang because they well, I don't know. They just magically refill in between sessions. Also, this is not just a problem for Batwoman, but just TV shows in general. Instant knockout dart guns. They're quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> it just goes pew pew. They're both just instant knockout instead of like going, what the hell did you just... And then like they tackle him and they go, help, you know, I've been hit with a blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, no, instant knockout, fine. You know, I'm always thinking about this show as a whole and this episode's got tisms for sure, but I mean, yeah, it's like I said, like a three out of ten, which is probably the... Like, what beats this episode, you reckon? out of all the ones we've had so far. Four, I think. Which one was four again? Magpie? Yeah. Oof, mm -hmm. but Magpie's one. Oof. <clears throat> what do you... What, well... What, what, <laughs> what do you guys reckon? I, mean, I don't know. They're all so bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's legit. Like, I don't know. They're all so terrible. At this point, I think we've just accepted the nonsense. Stockholm Syndrome, but for Batwoman. <laughs> I love that they have that back and forth with Batwoman and Kate near the climax of the episode. Where she's like, yeah. you left me. I was at the blow up for left. It's like, you said this like seven times. Like, this is not we, new. We get it. This is part of why we said you should reveal the motivation so fucking early. It's just like, yeah. oh, well. Because you have to keep reading reiterating it. Also, you keep telling us this sob story for like once every for every person <laughs> I was like, like that when he got the, the half season finale and she just lets Alice go again. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good twice. at that. She lets her go twice. And so. she, <laughs> she, she really doesn't care that she gets thrown off the balcony. It's like, oh, yeah, whatever. It's like, I hey, I'll don't do that. You guys go. I love how Sk Skin Man managed to sneak up thing. on here. L Lucky and Pushing just did did all of that. And yet, like, everything is so calm. Just yeah. like, yeah, you know, oh, Jacob has been framed. Ooh. <laughs> how silly is that? <laughs> My mother's dead. Jacob's been framed. Mary's missing. I don't know where Kate is. Do it's you a good love time me? for us to discuss mm -hmm. the emotional aspect of our relationship. <laughs> I like how Luke had nothing to do with that episode. <laughs> Oh yeah, Luke he, he, he only checked the coat, and then he checked the face of that one guard. Oh, Hang on, face. yeah, he knew about that. Shouldn't oh, they he have like immediately called the police? No, you can't call the police. They are just not. Are the real crows or something? Well, yeah, Gotham PD are more useless than the crows, but still, they may as well. Gotham PD did more in this episode than the crows did. Yeah, they finally did something. They arrested someone. They arrested the wrong person, but they did something. Yeah, they arrested something. the wrong person. Yeah, and so oh, the oh, rest. Well, no, they fucked up because they didn't read him as Miranda rights. We got the infinite thing and then we gotta wait for a while before we get to see the next half of the
the season where we're gonna have to resolve. Alice is still on the loose, I was wrong about that. Nobody died except Catherine, I don't think- did anyone even call that? We kind of forgot to. I probably would have said she'd probably die if I had thought about it. I've been waiting for Alice to kill her for ages. She just Finally, keeps not payoff. doing it. <laughs> and why would she do it in a way that gives her a selfless death? You wouldn't have thought Alice would want that to be the case. Yeah, no. either she lives and I don't get what I want, or she proves to her sister that she is a good person deep down and dies. If anything, you would want to try and prove that she's a coward or whatever, or prove that she's evil or something. Yeah, like, uh, mm -hmm. did anyone see the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean film? In the finale, Blackbeard is offered something that can save his life, but his daughter's also dying, and uh, Jack offers this two, this two cups. One gives life, one takes life. Blackbeard selfishly grabs the one with life and wants to kill his daughter to save himself, but Jack had switched the cups, so he dies. It's like the exact same thing, except Blackbeard was an asshole. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought they were gonna go with that, but, um, no, she was just a straight up decent person. I mean, Elizabeth's a weird <laughs> character, if I'm completely honest with you. You can understand, sort of, that she wanted a good thing to happen as a result of saying the daughter is dead. She's like, no, I'm pretty sure she's dead. She's been gone for ages. She's dead. She's dead. And that the family can move on. But then you've also got all these scenes where she's, like, maliciously creating all these horrible weapons in the hopes of, like, yeah. and she sends people after Alice to have her killed. That's really what fucked this whole thing up. Like, she, <laughs> yeah. she sent people to go kill her. And then, like, the guy comes back, like, she chopped off my finger. It's like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, no, she will die to save her daughter. She does seem kind of guilty about the fact that she has built her business on blood or whatever. And she, I don't know. It's... I don't even know. That's the thing. I don't know if she's built her business on blood. I have no idea. Like, there's nothing wrong with being a weapons manufacturer. Yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I can't wait to see how Alice will finally <laughs> be defeated, how Jacob will be absolved from his crimes, his perceived crimes, how Batwoman will finally <laughs> learn more lessons. They're so arbitrary, by the way, the fucking commentaries from the beginning and end of episodes. You know, hope is all I have. And at the end, she's like, I was wrong. Beth is gone. And at the end of, like, the next fucking season finale, she'll be like, Beth was there the whole time. She just couldn't get out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's episode eight. I'm so excited for Infinite Earth. It's going to oh, make no man. sense at all. It'll be great. It'll be nice to just be lost. <laughs> that yeah, fucking scene where she jumps down the balcony or whatever is like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I shit's weird. I'm just going frame by frame. I think it's like only like 10 frames or something. It's like really weird. Why do they think frame. that looked good? I don't know. It doesn't. These people, do you think the people who made this show could identify quality if they saw but it? They, they would have had a shot that looked okay and then they fucked it. <laughs> like, that's what I mean. It looked okay? Maybe the regular shot, she like awkwardly slowly landed and she was like, oh. At one point she uses a guard as a bodyguard. Oh god, that looks terrifying. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, at one point she uses a bodyguard to defend herself from a, a, a incoming shots from pistols, and I'm like, why would you care? The fucking pistol shots, like, I guess it's in case they hit her in the jaw. Didn't they say in the beginning that the staff doesn't come apart, or was it just a joke by Luke? Maybe they he created one that does come apart for her between in, in, scenes. In the episode. Yeah, what a good guy. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. I can't that wait to see what happens next. Goodbye, Amazing everybody. television. Bye. Goodbye. We'll see you next tisms. You messed with the wrong sisters. What'd you bring me?